Hi there, this is Kate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Make sure that you turn on the post notification bell so that at least every time I post a new video, you're going to get a notification. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a business you should start in your area because I'm getting a lot of messages of people asking, Kate, what should I start? Give me a business idea. And it's very, very difficult to give you an informed idea or something that I can just guess and tell you to start selling popcorns or start selling uh, grocery when I have zero information about your area. So that is why I've decided to do a video to at least help others that are out there and they want to start a business and they don't know where to start from. Where to start from, sorry. So my question is, the big question is, where is your location? Where are you located? What surrounds you? Are you surrounded by a school? Are you surrounded by a hospital? Are you surrounded by a college or a university? Are you surrounded by a church? All those are factors that you should consider. Most of us definitely are in places where we have residential uh, estates or what we call residential houses, apartments. And we also have like um, a center or something Malima, a lot of people wana wana kutana jioni ama mchana where people are passing by we have a place where we have a lot of um, movement of people kwa stage so what exactly is your location that location is what will um, make us know exactly what you should stock you are located near a primary school and maybe you have that as the only target market sell things that will entice kids to buy from you. You are selling things like ice creams, sweets, fruits like mangoes, nawangezele, masala. I remember when I was a young girl and there was a lady who used to come and sell mangoes on a twekeyo masala ya red, apu katikati ya kikata. It used to make us, like, ask for money every single day. So you should sell things like uh, those sweets, smokies, bibitukaizo, if you are in a school environment. Number two, if you are in a hospital environment, maybe you are located near Mama Lucy Hospital or maybe a hospital near your town you can decide to stock things like Mali Mali products and when I talk about Mali Mali I'm talking things like basins, cups, plates, spoons remember that we also have wards in the hospital and most people will want to buy such items when you want to go hospital and want to realize they need a basin, they need slippers those are things that you should stock also remember in hospital a lot of people are giving birth and definitely they require pads, they require diapers. Those are products that you should also consider stocking. Also, if you are near a hospital environment, consider stocking things like um, these fast foods. We have smokies, eggs, they are hungry. They will want to grab a snack before they get into the hospital. And um, we have things like exercise books. I remember going to another hospital dispensary and uh, we were being told to buy an exercise book because they needed to write our details. So this hospital is a village. So definitely also stock on things like carrier bags. Those are things that you can stock outside hospital. And if you have any idea and you can write it down below in the comment section. If you're located near a university or a college, this is a very, very big market that can and buy a lot of stuff from you. Remember that university students in such a way that they have hostels. So this is a very, very big market for a lot of uh, a lot of products. So you can consider starting a shoe business, jewelry business, cosmetic business, salon and kinyozi business, grocery business, smoky and eggs business. Those are businesses that will actually move faster in those areas because university students will always have money to buy stuff when I wa help, when I wa loans, when I wa pocket money. So stock on a lot of products, Madi Mali Zote. Some of them are starting life, some of them will be starting families in the university. So stock to uh, for them a lot of stuff. Grocery, wauzie, crocs, salon, cosmetic, nimesema hizo, nimesema um, electronics, wauzie, earphones, wauzie, vitu kama chips, chapo, wakati kati mboga. These are people that don't wa don't want because it take a lot of time. So, was idea to cut a cut and bog up or was the nyanya kitungu? All those are products that will actually move faster. Some the, some of them are getting into the campus without beddings. Sell to them beddings, towels, panties, bras, all those socks. We took my ankle socks and was the happy socks. All those are products that will move faster in a university setting. And any product that can move faster in a university setting can also move faster in a residential area. 
residential area ni hapo kwa estate yenu ama mahali penye watu wanapatana wengi kwa center kununua vitu zenye wanaenda kufanyia kutumia jioni ama sapa vitu kama hizo so anything that i mentioned kwa university is actually possible to move faster in a residential area but remember kwa university you are not going to sell to them things like toys unaona nakuwa na vitu za watoto you are not going to stock in those areas so these are additional things that you can add in a residential areas and they are going to move faster and faster so for those people that have been asking me Kate Mdanzani Nkukwetu now at least I know you have an idea if you are near a school you are near a hospital you are near a university or a college or in a residential place or a state now you have an idea of what to start and the one thing that I will always tell a beginner usiwe ngojia capital yako ifike 100000 start with 5k start with 10000 20000 Kenyan shillings that is already enough for you to jump start your dream business me I'm, i believe in what we call exponential growth exponential is a gradual type of growth where you decide to go up using a ladder as opposed to going up using a lift because if this lift gets damaged it's going to come down at lightning speed but there is no day where the stairs are going to crumble or or just is there because they do the chini because for you to climb a stair you have to use muscles to climb meaning you are using energy same way to business just start small just give it your best don't eat all the profits every time come on and a 5000 and you now have a profit of 500 shillings that 5500 is what you're supposed to get back into the business so having said that we have a physical shop in kamkunji our shop is located in mokore building shop jj26 we sell cosmetic products we sell lady sandals you can go back to my previous uh videos and you'll see what we are talking right now we have a lot of beauty and hair accessories we are um also stocking on uh, things like uh, pegs and pairs ziko hizo ni vitu za mali mali but majorly we deal with shoes so you are all welcome we are ready to serve you we open monday to sunday 6 am up to 6 pm every single day i mean every single day monday to sunday so thank you so much for watching please like this video it goes a long way into supporting my content on youtube it makes youtube recommend my videos to other viewers so please like the video also comment down below on what you think about today's video and i'm going to see you on my next video bye Fear from my past cause